Whenever there is heavy rainfall in Belize City, residents of Crewman Lagoon experience severe flooding. There are instances in the past where Belize Coast Guard officers had to risk their lives to rescue residents from rising waters. Today we met a group of young men clearing a bushy area in the community. Right now, we're the chop out and I think, when the spot gets dry up and I think, uh, so a lot of snakes come out and all kind of animals, big crocodile, we just kill like eight foot one, yeah, they're right in the corner, yeah. I think. Yeah, I'll only snake and I think when they get dry and then they'll start coming out and going to people's house and then they'll kind of jeopardize people's life like that. So they'll have to get rid of everything, all the bush and everything in the backyard, no? Flood waters are not the only threat to residents in this area. When the water rises, snakes and crocodiles approach homes, putting the lives of many, including children, at risk. We also spoke to a second resident off camera. Even crocodiles, all, all kind of animals are right in the water. You ever see a crocodile in front of your house? Yes, right here. I saw a crocodile. And it says that the children, um, they pick up two crocodiles back here. Several of the residents we spoke with in this community informed us that they are evacuating to higher grounds, either inside a hurricane shelter or with family. On the other hand, there are those who have made the decision to weather the incoming storm inside their homes. Well, to be honest, I don't know yet, sir. I don't know what we are, though. Well, I think we are still here, back here. Mm -hmm. But if, if something happens to us, then we go in our shelter. For this year, this water not going down for nothing. If it's nothing, it rain will come up and come up. What happens if it does flood and you have to move out last minute? You didn't think about that? Yes, we think about it. But we never come out for it before anything. Yeah. We never come out anything. But once we house get damaged anything, of course we go into the shelter and anything. I'm not going nowhere. I have to get out of my yard and yeah. carry on for everything. You know? yeah. Make sure everything's safe and make sure everything's straight. And we have anything that's so flooded. Well, maybe all the family might have to go, but I was here. Yeah. You know, so I need to take care of the year round and take care of the people here back here. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.